Obviously, then we have traveled to Madrid, wherever Love Island is. Actually, this, I need closure on that. I really where is it? Where is I'm oh, going to keep yeah, talking, yeah. sorry. Uh, but this is Love Island the day after. And even if Love Island isn't in Madrid, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so let's kick off. Um, new girl in the house. Oh, new girl in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. you mentioned. Oh, yeah, I saw her on. Antigone. Shade bar, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm saying her name wrong. They keep putting pictures of her and Anthony Joshua up as if yeah, Anthony yeah, Joshua yeah, yeah. is going into the house with her. Right. But um, yes, Antigone, she has come in in the best way so far. I think so. She's conducted herself. She's conducted herself brilliantly. Yeah. Mm. They and I agree. They call her. They say she looks radiant. I've seen her in real life. Yeah. She is a very pretty girl. Mm. Um, I think her hair, her personality, the London, the she London looks- thing. She's Greek. I don't think she's mixed. I think she's okay. just fully sun kissed and that. Um. But yeah, she's coming the best way. The girls are kind of like, if they are intimidated by her, they're hiding it. No, not that they're hiding it, but they see her as a friendly girl, like a girl's yeah. girl. She comes across as a girl's girl. Okay. The guys are into her. Mm. Her intro into the house was nice as well. She just was just turned up in the morning. Okay. Um, I like that she doesn't do anything cringy or embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, like a, like a twerk. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Danica's forgotten to me. She didn't oh, get, she's got like, no I, think she's, time. I, I think she's leaving next. Okay. Because no one, who from the boys is showing interest in the new girl? Jay. <laughs> oh, is it? Jay yeah. and Davide. Oh, but okay. well, Davide has said that she's not his usual type. But I think yeah. at this point, Davide's survival instinct is on. Okay. Because he's like, he's, if I don't connect to someone, yeah. yeah. I could him. leave. I also don't think he'll he will look upset if he did leave. I think it would be like, okay, I played it longer than I probably yeah, should have. Yeah. So okay. But okay. um, yeah, it's so like Antigone got, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but um, it's fair to be fair to everyone. She <laughs> not equal <laughs> equality and that. Um, <laughs> so she managed to get a date. Is, am I skipping? Am I jumping ahead? Because I know something's Girl, happening. Girl, no, keep going. Okay, so yeah, she, keep going. she managed to get she got a text, it meant that she was gonna date with three guys. Yeah. The three guys were Dami. Okay. Well, in order of her selection was actually I can't remember who was Davide, first. Davide, Damn. Jay, no, and then Dami. Jay was last. I think he went second. But okay, cool. Yeah, no, so no yeah. Jay were like I remember when she was with Jay, mm-hmm. Dami and Davide were like being cheeky and like throwing comments, and she was like, "Oh, you're so annoying." Okay. So and then they also said that that could be a reflection of how she feels because you say the last or best. Well, to be fair, yeah. she did say that she's into him, but she's gonna let him sweat a little because she finds him quite attractive in in real life. Mm. Um, but yes. Ekinsu kind of said she sounded really logical um, at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. So she was like, you know, I'm going to let them just kind of crack, crack on. They might have, have feelings, but they might like each other. They might yeah. be a vibe there. So I'm just going to let them crack on. Yeah. Mm. She was acting. That she, was as per. As per. She was, she said that and you would think, oh, what a smart babe. She understands what the game if you didn't is. Know, I can see, yeah. She was sweating as soon as that man left the house. Yeah. Mm. She's sitting there with them. Um, it's really unattractive, you know. Very. She was probably sweating like, so what do you think? Do you think that? Da, da, da? So do you think that? Da, da, da? Like she's her insecurities are screaming at the TV. Mm. It's actually ridiculous. That like, the other girls I had to say to her, like, don't think about it anymore. Like, let's not talk about it anymore. She's like, yeah, but then it's like, okay, shut up. Like, she's proper, proper insecure by it. She's like, oh, what if he really likes her? If he ends up leaving, blah, blah. But then she did admit that she's caught feelings. Okay. So she's like, I've caught feelings. Well, really? In the confession. She's like, I, I never feelings. could have guessed it. She's just caught like, feelings <laughs> before she was even in the Listen, relationship. She's like, I caught feelings. So she, I guess so I'm so hot and bothered about it, blah, blah. But as her luck would have it, she just doesn't have good luck in that house. Jay is feeling the girl. Yeah. The girl is feeling her. They had the flirtiest. I think they would had. I would say they had the nicest conversation. Okay. So with Davide, it was more of a. You know how Davide, that kind of conversation with Davide, whatever, cool, cool, chill conversation. I think nothing about like attraction, nothing flirty. Is really. Davide that stunning? No, I just think he has his type and doesn't want to settle. Because he said he, to the boys, like, he was like, on paper, she's not my type, but okay. Yeah, I hear that. But I'm thinking, where does when does Davide show up being this person he says he's like when he likes someone? I know he, he I know he hasn't you. met somebody that he likes yet, but does it need to be like an absolute like a worldy like who's the yeah. model that married Tom Brady? Like uh Giselle. Gis- Giselle, who like obviously mainstream is seen as yeah. like one of the most elite babes. Mm. Does it have to be like that kind of woman so, before yeah. he sh- someone he thinks is better than him before yes, he I think so. acts like a yeah. person? Yeah, I think yeah, feelings. I think that, that day he sees himself up here. Yeah. yeah. So until you trump him, he's gonna Yeah. Like, he doesn't, it doesn't see a reason why he has to try to impress a woman. Like, I'm the prize. Like this is this mm. is the impression. This is it. Yeah. So I feel like he needs someone who he's better than and he has to think, oh, okay, let me put in a bit because he just doesn't. He also like should have gone on too hot to handle. 
Yeah. Mm. Like, that's where he should have been. He would have been in his bag and that. Yeah, that's where he should have been because that's that's full of people that have the same mentality yeah. and approach as he does because Love Island ain't... ain't, ain't it ain't, ain't He ain't even got chat. It ain't but ain't. apparently he bullied I can see. So let's... let's the day... Oh, yeah, so... Wait, let me finish the date. Yeah. So, yeah, he went... So, they had a more casual conversation whatever, yeah. whatever. He... And then... I, I don't like that everyone keeps bringing up the can see thing to him, though. Because he keeps reiterating the fact that she's dead to him. She's dead mm. to him. It's just annoying now. Um, so he did that. He was like, um, because she asked him, like, oh, so with Ekin, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, I'm the kind of person where, again, we've heard him say this a thousand times. If you cross me, we're kind of done, blah, 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 that kind of conversation. And then the second date was Dami. Yeah. But again, with Dami, he, she also asked about India. And he was like, yeah, he's really interested in India, blah, blah. But he, he made it very clear that, do you know what? India. Mm. He's like, why did you choose me and whatever? She's like, oh, yo, I want to get to know you, blah, 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 cool, whatever. But, and then his sister, his family's owned her, called her sis. Ooh. They call you, yes, sis. Kind of this. Who said that? Jay. Dummy. 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 He threw his sis there. You know, you know, Jay don't know about sis. Mm. <laughs> he threw his sis in there. And then, so now they kind of got that. She understood, she got the message. Because when she referred back to the girls, yeah. she said he called me sis and it's more, we're more family. Yeah. I think that's thing. such a London thing. Um, and then um, the last person was Jay. I would say our three of them, they, they had the best conversation. Yeah. You could tell that they were both attracted to each other. You could tell there was something there because he literally, they were staring to each other's souls. It was ridiculous. They were kind of flirting him and they're like, oh, I like the, that you wore the same color as me, that kind of stuff. Um, she was like, I like the fact that, she's like, I, I can tell that you like me. And he's like, oh, how, why, why'd you say so? And she said, you haven't broken eye contact with me. But it tells me two things. It tells me you're very interested in me. And it tells me you're not intimidated by me. Hmm, and play. I like that. Good play. And then he was like, okay, we'll see. And then she said something like, I can't remember what they said. Something about, oh, she said something about kissing on the first date or whatever. And he was, he's something like, the guy that was just flirting, that kind of flirting, basically. But he said something to her like, oh, um, time will tell kind of kind of vibe. And I was yeah. like, okay, there's a bit more there. And I think with Davide and Dami, they could see that as well. Because basically, the date is there where Koi is. And that's where Dami and that's when the other two wait while she finishes the first date. Oh, is it? And it was like a picnic, basically. Yeah, it was a bit... They all went out together. And they're just there. Uh, basically. Like, yeah, that sounds hella efficient. Yeah, because when she was weird. talking about kissing, yeah. When she was talking about like, kissing, whatever. Um, Dav- um, Dami was like, hint, hint. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, you're so jarring. It's funny. That's, that's, that's a bit of an annoying date. Can I... Can yeah. I ask... Can I just mention something else that we didn't really pay attention to? Like, Auntie Gunny's... <laughs> Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Right. <laughs> she, um... She... She really ticked all the boxes when she came in. At one point, the guys were like, yeah, she gives off wifey material. Like, it'd been 20 minutes. Didn't know her. They were like, no, they were like, because I think she said she'd been in a nine-year relationship oh. and, and all of that stuff. And they were just like, yeah, no, she's like a proper nice girl, good girl, yeah, she gives mm. off wifey material. Mm. I was like, then the girls were over there saying she's stunning, she's radiant. I no, said, she's, yeah. I said, yo, she, that's probably the best intro I've seen a girl have in, I think so. a, I mean, a girl that wasn't part of the original bunch. Let me check in the picture. ages. Because I think it's because I, I, she's striking someone who commands respect. I yeah, feel like I in, her, in the way she is, yeah, that like the way she carries herself, she's not a little girl. Yeah. She doesn't play like she doesn't play games, but also she's so confident and in who she is that she doesn't have to tell you she doesn't play games or she's not a little girl. I feel like with Ekinsu, Ekinsu we had t- told like let them know what she was about. Mm. But with this girl, you see her, she carries herself properly, she's cool, she's chilled, but you just know that she's not really one to mess with, but she doesn't have to tell you that she's not one to mess with. You think that's the London energy though? So, yeah, it might be the London mm-hmm. energy of just like, yeah, friendly, fun. But yeah, but like, I'm yeah. just, I'm a cool player. So, I've gone onto Love Island's uh, Instagram page. There's, there's someone else. There's a new person. And there's a new guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to talk about Gemma? <laughs> What did Gemma do? So basically, um, they got a message yeah. that oh, yes. a new guy was coming into the house. Mm. So all the girls were like, let's not tell the guys, isn't it? Yeah. And Gemma was like, I don't even know if she said she wasn't going to, but she's no, like, she, no, she, she's, no, she specifically said she wouldn't. And then the boys sent up, because they heard the girls screaming, so the yeah. boys sent up Luca. Yeah. Also, I think there's things that Luca said. Yes, Luca said, I used to like blondes. You're not married. Sorry, I'm jumping. Let's finish this. Let's Luca finish. acts like he's married with four kids and a mortgage. And he's acting like he's... Not only that, he's acting like the person that he's with is married back to him. Mm. Everyone has been mentioning on social social media that she has not slept in the doghouse with him once. She has been in bed comfortably with Davide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, without any pressure. I'm like, big man, you're making a protest that nobody's asking for. But anyway, it's fine. So, back to the original thing. Um, Gemma was like, as she said, she wasn't going to say anything. Luca now comes up, goes to the terrace. She's like, okay, I'm just going to go and talk to my boyfriend. Oh, not boyfriend. Go and talk to Luca. She then immediately tells Luca that a guy is coming in so that she can tell the boys. Mm. And I feel like Gemma 
Maybe you're right. She just doesn't like being told what to do. Because she gives me such mixed signals with Luca. And I feel like that's mm-hmm. why Luca is so diehard for her. I bet when Luca watches the show back, he's going to be like, that was editing. She was onto me too. No. I bet I, he's going to say I, that. And guess what? I'm not going to believe him. Yeah, no, of course not. <laughs> but I think I'm that's what he's going to say. There's, madness is not unfueled. There's fuel mm-hmm. there. Like you, when someone, every time I see a girl act tapped or a boy act tapped, yeah, not, not violence, anything like that. I just yeah. think to myself, someone is feeding you something you may be overstanding what is being fed to you, but someone's feeding you something and that's why you feel entitled to act like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think a girl goes tapped unless, you know, there's a real reason. But I don't feel like a girl goes tapped for somebody she has no connection to. Like, I think mm. the guy has said, yeah, I love you. Uh, or some stuff. And then she's now confused. She's overdoing it, but she's now confused. And I think the same for Luca. Luca cannot just be madly in love with Gemma with her acting the way we see her act. It's not possible. Yeah, that's what you're saying. I don't think it's possible. It must have, something must be happening. But anyway, so now a new guy's coming to the house. Yeah. Um, I never saw what the guy looked like. He's not giving. Yeah. Oh, his name's but Charlie. He's basically he's a posh guy. And if they you guys know Love well. Island, yeah. exactly. Do you guys remember Chugs? No, of Chugs. course you don't, because he left so quickly. So <laughs> basically, he's not giving. Um, or even a doctor. I don't think. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Yeah, he's not. But I don't think anyone's really going to be interested in him like that. Yeah. Um, they want chat. Yeah, but oh, actually, I say that. I think Ekin is because, but Ekin is just. <sighs> yeah, Ekin's story is slowly becoming a sad tale. It's, quite it's already a sad tale. You yeah. see how deep I sighed? Like, yeah. I haven't sighed like that in years. I yeah. sighed so deeply because basically he was talking to the girls or whatever. And she's like, she always tries to find ways to, to relate to with someone. He's like, oh, um, what did he say? Something about like, he was in a for three years. Oh, that's just like me. Okay, Fushing. none of us are therapists. I hate when people pretend to be therapists. So I'm going to head us right now because I'm going to ask, yeah. what is Ekansu's palaver? Like, because she's actually not a hard sell. She's a good looking girl. Mm. She's a beautiful girl. Like, literally, like, you can say whatever you like. Girl, she looks like an yeah. IG babe. Like, yeah. she, she gives, she ticks all those boxes in that yeah. sense, if you know what I mean. So that means even if she's not your type, you can still see objectively you can see, she's a yeah. pretty girl. It's really all about how you carry yourself. If mm-hmm. you carry yourself like your price is bargain, like, then people are going to act accordingly. Yep. No one seems to like her that well in the house. Is she even having a good time? No. Because of her personality. Like I think it's said, that's Personality, the way she carries herself. She carries herself, I don't know how to define her and how she behaves. It's just, it's too much. She needs to just tone it, tone it, yeah. tone this theatrics down, man, a little bit. It's just theatrics. Act normal. She don't act normal, man. She acts like You know like what killed her, yeah? Because oh, she, 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 I don't know, I'm here, Because she's an actor, yeah? Because she's an actor, yeah? It's just like, it's just tainted everything she does. So everything mm. she does just seems like a facade or like, mm. just like you don't know whether she's being herself or, or not. And then when she is being herself or when you might think she's being herself, she's that like annoying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, she's, she's like, like, I actually hate to say so, it, but she's so, actually so, annoying. Dr. Margs <laughs> with the diagnosis. She's just Basically. annoying. She's actually, an, she's, I, don't, I feel uh, like she just has no like structure, like, gosh, calm down. Do you get me? Like, she's yeah. just all over the place and wants to be involved with everything. Yeah. And it's just, like, just every, like, babes. She just don't seem genuine Sit to me. Sit down. She doesn't I, seem I genuine. I honestly think she should not have told us she was an actress. That, that's yeah. why. Like, the first thing she said, yeah. Because yeah. there's times I feel like there have been genuine moments, yeah. But even then, I just think, ah, uh, is it? I think as girls, yeah, we are a little bit more, we have a lot of grace for someone who's tapped more mm. than someone who we think is not genuine. Yeah. If she never said the actress thing, we would have just thought this is an emotional babes. We feel bad for her. Mm-hmm. Because of the whole mm. acting thing, it's like you want a, a role after the show, blah, blah, blah. So because that's your prize, we don't have to give you liking. Or, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I even think the whole thing of her being entertainment, entertainment needs to evolve at one point. And if it's always going to be you, Going absolutely going off of off people. for people that you've known for a week, like, and I know I know that doesn't count for Love Island because they're there day and night, yeah, they're under arrest. <laughs> so, but yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, I feel, yeah, just getting it's, a bit I can't like it's, she's getting very a bit draining, and I really was rooting for her. I even had the I even had a cheek to go as far as saying I want her to win. Mm. Mm. I publicly take that back. Um, I don't ask. know where I thought I was going with that one. No, I was going to say, any developments with Dami in India? Anything? anything? No, to, everyone's kind of knows that there's a game Report now. on that note? No, everyone's no. kind of... She was very happy that when um the new girl came back and said, yeah, Dami, he's not interested at all. But I love it. Again, I love it because she kept composure. Like, her face was just normal. She didn't smile or anything. She's, but obviously, I know it's how she was like, she's a babe. Yes. Yeah. But with Ekin, it's so sad. But the girl 
Ekin, when Ekin, Ekin got feedback, oh, that's what you're saying about Davide, sorry. Mm-hmm. So when they got back here yeah, from the dates, Davide was like to Ekin, oh, Ekin, the kiss. Mm-hmm. And she's like, huh? And she's like, Jay and the new girl. Mm-hmm. Very passionate, that's what he said to her. Oh, they, they, so she, they kissed? They no, didn't. He but he was, like, he was trying to wind her up. Oh. So um, when she was when the girl was like, giving everyone a feedback, yeah. um, obviously talked about whatever, whatever. Then Ekin was like, did you guys kiss? Mm. And then she was like, no. She's like, no, if I kiss, I would have definitely said. Mm. Well, no, we didn't. And then she says, oh, so why did Davide say that? And everyone's like, he's just trying to wind you up. Mm. But then in the preview for tomorrow, which is today. Yeah. Um, it's going down. She's going, it's going down. So mm. she's going off, like, off on Ekinsu on, yeah. on Jay. Okay. Because he's, it looks like he's basically told her yeah. that he wants to get to know Paige. Mm. So she's That's like, mad him, still though. How very mad. By, and, by, and I get it. it. It's Paige reciprocating uh, this. No. So then what's the point because, of Because oh, that? I never think I missed that. So basically, while they were gone on a date, yeah. yeah. Ekin asked Paige, she said, Do you think that Jay's been genuine with me? Mm. And Jay and Paige said, I'll be very honest with you. No. Mm. I don't. She's like, she's like, as a girl, girl to woman to woman, I don't think he's being very genuine. Um, she said, for example, the challenge. I haven't spoken to this guy on like under no circumstances. Is that what she said? This is Paige. Yeah, oh, Paige, I like you, man. She said we've had like no conversation, no interaction. He yeah. never got to know me. Didn't ask me on a date. Nothing. And then in the challenge, you're kissing me. Like, what's yeah. that about? So she's basically said to Ekin, like, I'm not saying dump him, mm. but keep your eyes open. Mm. So then today, in today's episode, tonight's episode, he then tells Ekin that he's interested in getting to know Paige. And I'll be honest with you, I think in this one argument, Ekin is justified because Ekin's back to him. How are you going to try and say you want to get to know someone who's in a solid couple? Like, she's not checking for you at all. Yeah. So what are you talking about? So she was like, do you know what? You're an actor. She's like, you're an actor and you basically you're using me and you deserve an Oscar. And she walks off and she's clapping and it's the whole thing. Is it? It's going down. So I think tonight is going to go down, but yesterday wasn't really giving that much. And obviously it's Friday, Friday tomorrow. So I think today we're going to say a uh, recoupling thing. <laughs> Marks, you're, you're a Leona. phenomenal professional because I was like, do we just get put on hold? <laughs> no, absolutely, we just keep Basically. going. Yeah. <laughs> my TV, my TV, sorry. Oh, oh, no, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Actually, it made sense for me to pick that call up because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why he's not here. So. Um, yeah, no, so yeah, I, I think I'm looking forward to seeing all of that. Um, I think Paige, I know Castle Moore is going to bring Paige back into relevance, mm-hmm. but I'm hearing that she shouldn't be too invested with Jack Weiss. I'm hearing that. <laughs> You know what? When I saw his name, that's what I thought. I thought yeah, I, was I even called him Giacomo just to keep it funky. Um, but yeah, no. So I don't know. I like Paige. I kind of expect a bit more of a story for her, but maybe that's what makes her likable. The fact that she's unproblematic. Her heart is going to be so broken. She's going to leave. The, I think yeah. I she's going to leave the show early. When does so. Castle Moore start? You know? Yeah, what week? Because yeah, what, what week? Know. What week does it normally start? I can't, I can't, they can't give it to us too quickly, guys. Because you know, it's, it's, it's still early now. <laughs> early is it? How how long is Love Island from start to finish? I think like three months. Uh, eight weeks or something like that. Yeah, I think oh, it was two months and four, four weeks. Okay. Well, yeah, man. Um, well, anyway, that was yesterday's episode. Once again, we were more interested in the episode. Um, oh, yes. I like how the new girl entered the um house, take note. But to be fair, you have to enter the house as you are. Like, if your personality isn't yeah. that, then it's just not going to work for you. But um, yeah, so that's Love Island the day after. Let's head into the next and final headlines. 